Have you ever been in awe over pictures of the night sky like this showing the Milky Way? Hey, thanks for checking back on the channel. Today I'm going to show you how to use an iPhone to take great pictures of the night sky. And if you've got an iPhone, it doesn't have to be that new. You know, anything in the last five years or so, you should be able to do this. And you're going to really be amazed. So, let's begin. Now, this is what I'm talking about. Just absolutely high resolution pictures of the sky. And this was taken with a regular phone camera, believe it or not. There's certain tweaks you need to do. And that's what we're going to discuss in this video. Now, this is one of the later iPhones. Go to settings and then scroll down until you find camera. When you find the camera, then click on it. Now go to formats and enable the raw format, which gives you much higher resolution pictures. Now open the camera app and you'll see raw max with a line through it. Now click it and the line should go away. Now you're set up to do raw high resolution photos. Now, if you look at the bottom, you see a little uh, white moon. Now, if you click that, it turns yellow. And then if you use the scroll bar, you can scroll up to three seconds. Now, if the camera is totally dark, you can now scroll up to 10 seconds. But to get good pictures, you need 30 seconds. So you need to hold the camera totally still in a stand and then it will miraculously switch to 30 seconds as you can see here. Now, this is what I'm talking about. Here's a 30 second exposure and notice that the stars remain sharp because the camera compensates for rotation of the Earth. Now, see those streaks up there, top left, and also other areas? Those are either satellites or they are meteors. What do you think? The amount of information and detail up there is incredible, and none of this is visible with the human eye. The amount of detail shows you how much more sensitive the phone camera is compared to the human eye in terms of its ability to sense light. Now, if we change the exposure to 10 seconds, this is what it looks like. There's still quite a bit of detail. Everything looks really sharp, but there's just not the amount of light getting into the camera to give it that effect. Now, I have to admit, I did not take these pictures because I live in an area where there's just too much light pollution to make this possible. Full credit for these pictures goes to a colleague of mine, Archangel Tesla Coil, and please don't forget to check out his great channel on the beauty of Tesla coils. He took these pictures because he lives out in a rural area where there's not a lot of light pollution. And these are incredible pictures. I do hope that this short video has been helpful to you in case you want to go out there and take pictures of the night sky and don't want to invest in expensive low light photography equipment, which can cost thousands of dollars. You can do the same thing with a regular phone camera as I'm showing you here. Thanks for watching and please consider liking and subscribing.